So what I've got here is a uh, Pomona 6405. I just finished with some automotive troubleshooting. It was torturing me. I was getting all these mixed results, you know, trying to probe some signal wires and it was just really frustrating. So um, what I've done is I'm doing a video on uh, these piercing probes and they seem like they're pretty good. Although for the marine environment, you're piercing the insulation on your wires, but you know, you can at least troubleshoot things and uh, reliably. So this video is about piercing probes, how, how you may want to use them in a set that I found. So uh, good luck on your project and hopefully I'll help you with troubleshooting and I need your input also about, you know, piercing probes and back probes. So if you could just, you know, tell me what you think. And then it would also help me, uh, motivate me to make more videos if you just like the video, if you could just do that. Back probing is where you kind of just stick a device, some sort of needle or something in the back of a connector, and then you can read the voltage. And so in this case, I'm just, um, I'm on, I'm just doing an ohm, ohm read off of the one side of the wire and then reading another side of the wire. So, and then sometimes what happens is the, the pin in here, the pin in, in here that the mating end of the pin isn't connecting properly. And so it's kind of hard to see what, you know, hard to really figure out what's going on. I was trying to back probe um, a connector and you can kind of see depending on how good or bad the back probe um, fits on the connector. Here I'm trying to back probe this connector but I'm getting I can get all kinds of different results. Um, it just varies so much. Uh, and then that could have an impact on my test result. So what I've got here is a Pomona 6405. So you can use this on 22 to 14 gauge according to the back and pull one amp out of the wire. And I'm going to, they come in a set. So you can just hook these on with a the, um, the regular banana clip goes to a voltmeter and then you can just put your voltmeter probes here and what happens is they've got a, a little pin here that sticks into the wire and you may say for marine applications oh no <laughs> I don't want to stick it in the wire right uh, so what you do is you just dial it into the wire so it it pokes the pin out into the wire and it turns out that you can actually put this through a pretty into a pretty small wire so so in my experiment I'm going to use this um, probably it's close to a 22 gauge um, wire that's a um, just a breadboard wire and um, there are others versions of the this same idea and um, like this would be another version of the same idea it's um, one of these clamps that you do this with and it's got a pin on the spring end of this thing and it does piercing but doesn't do near as good a job and it does a lot more damage um, on the wire so I'm pretty impressed with this other one I'm going to show you how it works so what you do is you just screw this this uh, knob here and it pierces the wire 
and and so if you unscrew it of course I'm gonna get um, less of a connection and then when you screw it tighter you get more of a connection and this is probably a 22 gauge wire stranded a breadboard jumper wire and this is what it looks like close up Let's see if I can get you pretty close here you can see the needle going into the wire here it's really hard on the picture here to see the pole. What's going to happen when you get the hole in there? I mean it doesn't really distort the wire too much and electrically it seems to be roughly the same um, ohm reading as I had before. I get I get roughly the same amount of resistance as I had before with this wire so it doesn't m mess with the uh, the ohm reading um, maybe the current carrying capacity has changed a little bit I think but the uh, ohm reading hasn't changed uh, so what do you do to patch the hole well I think you you just uh, get some electric you get uh, some liquid electrical tape and you put that over the hole so what I'm thinking about is a lot of cases where the wire is real tight on the boat and you can't get you can't you know it's not practical to 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 go and put something on either end of you know you can't hunt down the wire very easily you can't hunt down the connector and you just need to, to do some testing and sometimes it's impossible to find you know the ends of the wire <laughs> or you know you can't fit to where the ends are so I'm thinking for a boat this is pretty good um, it may be good um, of course I want to solicit your feedback on these they come in a pair these are the highest quality ones I've been able to find I think and I'm pretty excited about them um, for automotive, I think they're good. So uh, again, I'm going to solicit feedback from y'all and see what you think about them and have you used them and everything. Thank you.